notation that we use with functions. And we're going to teach that by learning how to stop your car. How long does it take to stop your car? How far is that car going to go while you're thinking about it? All right. This information that you're seeing in this chart is coming out of Great Britain from their highway code. And we've got some data here. We're taking speed of the car, thinking distance, braking distance, and from all that, we're going to generate stopping distance. And I was actually quite amazed when I saw this. And so this is something that really should be common knowledge. I wasn't quite sure what this was, though, the thinking distance. Thinking distance is how far your car is going to travel in the time it takes your brain to register you need to stop till the time you put your foot on the brake. Believe it or not, there is a lag there and your car keeps moving while you are thinking about the need to stop. The braking distance is how far your car will go once you begin applying the brakes. You don't stop instantly. If you did, your body would go flying through the windshield. So we actually have braking distance, it takes a while for the car to stop. Now if you take that thinking distance and you add it to the braking distance, you'll get what's called your stopping distance. And of course the red here is the bottom line. This is what we're really looking at. All right, so let's go ahead. All of these are functions. All these distances are actually functions of the speed of the car. So we're going to let the speed be x. Speed is going to be x miles per hour. And then t is going to stand for the thinking distance. And that is going to also be equal to x. And we're going to let capital B stand for the braking distance. And um, the braking distance will be equal to, hold on, let me see here. Let me make sure I get it right. It's x squared divided by 20. So you take the thinking distance, square it, and you divide it by 20, and you will get the braking distance. So now the stopping distance, the stopping distance, we'll call that capital S, stopping distance is going to be equal to the thinking distance plus the braking distance plus the x squared over 20. All right, so this is how we generated these numbers in the Highway Code of Great Britain. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about function notation. There was a guy named Leonard Euler who developed this notation because he just wanted a way of, I don't know, kind of shortening it up and making it easy to understand that if you put in an independent variable, into a certain named function, you would get a result. So he invented what's called function notation. And when we introduce it, we usually write it like this. f of x. This is pronounced f of x. f is your function, and the x is your argument. Okay, this is your argument that goes in, otherwise known as your independent variable. And then the whole thing together is your dependent variable. So let's, let's take this notation and slide it on over here and see what we would get. Okay? Let's say we're traveling 45 miles per hour. Alright, 45 mph. That's our independent variable, our argument, so to speak. Okay. Alright, the thinking distance thinking distance on 45 miles per hour, you would say t of 45. Well, let's see, how do we decide, define t? t is equal to x, and we've let our x be 45 miles per hour, so there's the x. So t of 45 miles per hour is equal to 45 feet. If you're traveling 45 miles per hour, you will go 45 feet. All right, now let's see what the braking distance of 45 miles per hour would be. The braking distance would be 45 squared over 20. Okay, so 45 squared over 20, let's see here, I have it written here, is going to give me 101.25. 101.25 feet. 
All right, now, the stopping distance for 45 miles per hour will be this plus this. So it's going to be 45 plus 101.25, and that is 146.25 feet. 146.25 feet. So if you're going 45 miles per hour, it's going to take you half a football field to stop. Half a football field to stop. All right, now, let's see what would happen. Let's come over here. Let's see what the braking distance on 65 miles per hour, which is the speed on many, many highways. All right, what we would get here would be 65 plus 65 squared over 20. So all you do is you pop that into your calculator. It will perform the order of operations. It will evaluate this side of the equation. And you will end up with 276.25 feet. Okay, 276.25 feet. Almost going to take you a whole football field to stop at 65 miles per hour. Stop describing functions or notating them is called mapping notation. And it looks like this. If we use the same um, problem that we just had about the stopping distance and the braking distance and so on, um, we could say the braking distance um, B maps 45 miles per hour onto 45 squared of 20. So this is read B maps 45 onto this. And then this is the resulting expression that needs to be simplified. And of course, we just figured that out a bit ago, and that turns out to be 101.25 feet. Okay. For the 65, this would be, let's do stopping distance for the 65. Stopping distance, okay, S maps 65 onto 65 plus 65 squared over 20. And we found that that was equal to, what was that? 276.25 feet. Okay? So you have your mapping notation and your function.